हेलो एंड वेलकम टू नेहा कुक हाउस विद मिल्क पाउडर बर्फी मिल्क बर्फी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्वीट्स इन इंडिया बी इट एनी फेस्टिवल और अप्पी ओकेजन सिंस दिवाली सीजन इज अराउंड द कॉर्नर इट्स बेस्ट टू मेक दिस माउथ वॉटरिंग स्वीट एट होम एज होम मेड स्वीट आर ऑलवेज हेल्थियर देन मार्केट बॉट सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द इनग्रीडियंट्स टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग इट टू कप ड्राई मिल्क पाउडर हाफ कप मिल्क थ्री फोर्थ कप शुगर हाफ कप घी वन टी स्पून रोज वाटर सेवन टू एट फाइनली चॉप पिस्टेशो सेवन टू एट फाइनली चॉप्ड आलमंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक अ प्लेट और अ ट्रे इन विच वी विल सेट अप बर्फी नाउ अप्लाई सम घी और बटर ऑल ओवर इट टू मेक इट नॉन स्टिकी नाउ कीप इट असाइड वी विल यूज इट लेटर ऑन नाउ पुट द वॉक ऑन लो हीट एड घी और क्लैरिफाइड बटर मिल्क and immediately add milk powder because if milk becomes hard then milk powder can form lumps now mix all ingredients till they blend well and becomes like a smooth paste just make sure to keep the heat low it took me around 2 minutes to get the paste like this when it becomes a smooth paste add sugar and rose water for flavor but it's optional if you don't have it now again mix them well You will notice after adding sugar paste has become little thin so now increase the heat to low medium and cook it again for approximately 6 to 7 minutes till it becomes thick it's important to keep stirring to get the perfect texture after 6 7 minutes paste has become thick and this is the consistency we want now as soon as you get this consistency switch off the heat otherwise mixture paste will get extra hard and burfi will not be soft to check if we have the right paste consistency take a plate with little ghee applied on it now take some paste mixture and try to roll on it if it rolls well and becomes like a ball it means mixture is ready to make burfi now take the tray we set up with ghee in the beginning and transfer milk powder paste in tray and press it gently to spread uniformly with the help of a ghee applied spatula we are using ghee applied spatula to avoid paste sticking to it while spreading now our paste is spread out uniformly so add some chopped pistachios and almonds on top for garnishing and to give a beautiful look then press them gently so nuts set well on burfi now cover the tray using a cling wrap and let it cool down so that mixture layer sets well and becomes firm if you are in a hurry you can also put it in refrigerator to cool down quickly Now it has cooled down so take it out and heat the tray on low heat for just 4 to 5 seconds so that burfi layer becomes loose from bottom This will make it easy to cut out the burfi pieces after cutting Now take a sharp knife and apply some ghee on it and cut layer into shapes of your choice I am cutting in square shapes You can see burfi has come out really well. So let's serve them. Burfis are looking so yummy. I can't wait to taste them. I must say they are better than any market sweets. They are soft, slightly creamy and the nuts just multiplies the taste. This is a must try recipe for this Diwali. So try it, enjoy and don't forget to share your experiences in comments below the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. For latest recipes, please follow Neha's Cookhouse on all social media. Have a healthy eating.